So here's my solar tracker model. It's basically two solar panels on each side. And the solar panels are connected to a gear motor. Sorry for the bunch of wires here. You can see underneath the steel stud, that's the gear motor. And then the idea is to have one set of wires connected normally and then the other set of wires uh, with the polarity reverse connected to the same terminals. So when the sun is hitting midway the voltage is cancelled out and the motor wouldn't turn. Right now the sun is facing that direction and the solar tracker has moved to that direction. You can hear the motor running already as soon as I move the platter. I had to borrow my wife's spice rack, Solar Susan, Lazy Susan. Now it become a Solar Susan. So when you turn it one side, you can hear the gear motor growling. So right now when the solar tracker is in the middle position there's very little current to the uh, motor so the motor stops. You can, he you can hear the motor growling already as soon as I move the tracker. If I shade the motor you'll hear it growling also. If I move across the solar tracker, you can hear the motor running because one side of the solar panel will be covered. So it always try to track the sun so you have that zero current. So you can see that gear motor there in the, in the middle for the gear. So you can see the solar tracker trying to find the center anytime it is moved off course. So here's how this works. I have a lazy Susan here, an empty Saw the spool, I hot melt, put some hot melt glue and just stuck it on the lazy Susan, drilled a hole here, and here you have the motor. So you can hear it spinning and spinning around on solar energy.